안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and I'm here today to again ruin my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry about this lighting. Right now, there's like the blinds that are just. Let's just excuse it as aesthetic. Okay, so I have a color remover product here that I'm going to be experimenting with and seeing the difference between using an actual color remover to remove this. Mm, it's kind of like a rose pink that faded from my extreme raspberry cherry type red color that I had in my hair since December. And the difference between using this remover and Head and Shoulders zinc based dandruff shampoo plus baking soda. I also wanted to add a third element and experiment also the difference between using the Head and Shoulders mixed with vitamin C powder but I accidentally bought the wrong vitamin C capsules. I thought would be those soft plastics that open up with powder inside that I could just put, but they were like capsules that are hard. So I couldn't use that. The color remover comes with three products inside. There's the number one color reducer, number two conditioning catalyst, which I think acts kind of like a developer, but it can't be called a developer because it's not actually under that category of hair product. And then there's number three, which is the processing lotion. So this product that I purchased is actually ammonia free. I made sure that it doesn't have ammonia or bleach because I am currently pregnant. So I'm trying to avoid using bleach even though it shouldn't really have an effect on the baby. Bleach does affect my body overall. I'm assuming that when I'm pregnant and sick all the time, I'm gonna be feeling more sick. So I chose this product. There are instructions on the inside of the box. It does have different instructions for a full permanent color removal and a different instruction for slight color correction. Currently, I have more of a tint. This is a semi-permanent coated on top of my hair shaft. I didn't use a developer or any type of chemical to alter the shape of my hair to accept this color. I only bleached it previously so that my hair would be light enough to show the coating of the pigmented red conditioner that I did use to color my hair. I did hear that using a color remover may bring out a lot of the previous colors in your hair. In the last year and a half, I did change my hair color nine different times to nine different colors. So I'm kind of scared that if I use this, it's going to get rid of the red, but it'll like turn green and pink and purple and blue and silver and like all the other different colors that I did and orange and everything. So I'm gonna try to do a few test patches first before I go in with my entire half head. I'm kind of dreading this. The instructions are very thorough. Your hair has to be clean and dry. My hair is clean and dry. Mix one part of number one and number two. I'll probably use these two for the strand tests. I'm scared. I've never used a color removal before. I've always just waited for my hair colors to fade on their own and fade a little bit more when I bleach my roots. I never really did a color removal, so I'm, I'm a little nervous. This is my first time using a product like this, but I did make sure that it was safe for me in terms of my current health condition and my pregnancy. I'm also gonna be careful not to let it touch my scalp. I heard that it does smell like rotten eggs, so I'm a little scared of that. It kind of does smell like eggs, but it's not that bad. Da -da -dum. It says to use a brush, but I'm just gonna use my hands. I always kind of like using my hands more than a brush. It smells good, actually. It kind of smells like perm product. I'm trying to make sure that I don't get into my scalp, but I do get close. And then the second method's gonna be mixing quarter ounce part one, quarter ounce part two, and one ounce of conditioner. So one spoon of this, one spoon of this, four spoons of shampoo, two, three. Mix this. Yeah, I think this is like enough for like the whole half head. So my hair is supposed to be. See, it's turning purple. Nan daro hondo. 그럴 줄 알았어 진짜로. 왜 이러지? 이상해. What time is it? So it's currently 3.40, so I'll leave this in for another 15 minutes. But I am supposed to have wet hair for this second part. It's supposed to be towel dry consistency. I definitely won't need as much as I mixed since 
It does say bring it to a lather. Can't really tell if I'm doing a good job. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's the lather. I'll just pretend that I'm shampooing my hair in like this small strand. It smells like sweet swimming pool. I kind of like it. Ooh, my gloves are turning a little bit pink. Just a tad bit. I'm kind of excited. Oh my gosh. It's been a while since I've been blonde, y'all. It says leave it on by checking the strand test to see how much it's corrected or not. So this one I'll just leave for another 15 minutes, same as the other one. I'm gonna do the same amount. One spoon of this, one spoon of two. And then I'm gonna do, instead of four times the amount, two. So this version is almost like an in-between between the full color removal, the slight color correction, and this one will be like a heavier color correction but a lighter full color removal. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense anymore. Okay, got my hair kind of wet, and I'm gonna go and apply this. But I'm gonna guess it's gonna lather less than the previous strand test because I did put less shampoo the reason why we're using dandruff shampoo and not any other shampoo is because dandruff shampoo is known to be a deep cleansing agent and the zinc i believe it does have a lot of uh, cleansing and removing properties let's leave this on for like 10 15 minutes and see what happens i'm also going to wrap these in this plastic bag like doggy poo yeah wrap it like doggy poo like that perfect it's been 15 minutes oh Okay, interesting. Let's wash it out first and see what happened. I don't know, I don't know. They got chicken powder the kiku energy yet. I don't know. Mmm, hendo yo ne, honto. Atte ba? Whoa. This is the exact shade of blue that I had in the summer. All of the pigment that was underlying in my hair came out. Oh, the door's scary. <laughs> my sister in law is playing Resident Evil, and we we're just watching her earlier. And now I'm like scared because the door is open. Anyway, it's okay, there's no zombies in real life. The strand test that's supposed to remove full permanent color has turned blue because apparently I read on YouTube under a comment section of someone who used a color remover on their semi-permanent as well. It's trying to reverse a chemical process that happened, but there's no chemical process that happened because it's a semi-permanent. This one seems to have done well. The one in the middle. Hello, Mr. Professional Hair Consultant. What should I do? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so this one, it reversed permanent hair process, chemical process that never happened. So instead, it took out the blue that was left in my hair from summertime. So it enlarges the pigments. Okay, and it turned blue. Should I just go ahead and do half my head and then see? Because it's an experiment. Just do half your head. Just do it. Just do it. Save time and do it. Rinse hair for three to five minutes and shampoo twice. If sufficient color is not removed, repeat steps two and three. Depending on the condition of the scalp, do not repeat more than three times. Okay. How am I gonna rinse my head for this? Ah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay, I guess I just have to stay here like this and wait three to five minutes. Looking at my strand tests, I do like how this middle one came out, which is the slight color removal with the color removal product. It looks a little bit more blonde right at the edge here. I believe I'm going to go for this method, which was quarter ounce, quarter ounce, part one and two, two ounces of the shampoo on one side of my head. And then the other side of my head, I'm going to do the baking powder with shampoo and see the difference. So slimy. It looks like slime. I love slime. I was dreading this, but I'm actually having fun. I waited until my sickness passed so that I can do this with like a sane mind and a sane body. <laughs> when the desired shade has been reached, rinse thoroughly and shampoo twice. When the desired shade has been reached, I don't know <laughs> if we'll get there, AKA platinum blonde. Ooh, gritty. Baking soda and vitamin C both have lightening properties which is why a lot of people recommend to use it with a heavy cleansing agent like dandruff shampoo. The baking soda shampoo is definitely harder to distribute because it is more dry and more paste. 
Ooh, it is fading on this side. Oh my gosh, it turned into like a light coral shade because I did have a little bit of orange under the red before I put the red in. I am going to check the fade every 10 minutes or so. When it seems like nothing is really happening, then I'll just rinse my hair and then we'll do it again. See ya. I'm gonna rinse it out and put some more in and then do the second round and see if it fades a bit more. So it says to shampoo twice. This is the first time I'm shampooing, but a lot of the color is already fading. Look, it's like golden. But I will have to say my left eye is um, stinging when the water runs down on my eyes. So I wouldn't recommend doing this upside down. Rinse this off, shampoo it one more time, and then look at the results. See ya. I'm sure it looked different with my hair dry, but oh my gosh. I feel like with the baking soda shampoo, it only faded about 5 to 10% of the color. It feels really, really, really dry. Like damaged, like dry. The color remover, it removed, it removed a lot. Enough to show my orange underneath. I feel like if I do it a few more times, it would actually remove the color. I'm sure the color would look different when my hair is dry. But I just want to show you what it looks like, the comparison between the two fading. Now that it's come to this point, I think I will put the slight color correction with the one spoon, one spoon, four spoons shampoo into the rest of my hair, like all of my hair. If you only have semi-permanent hair color and not permanent hair color that has been developed, I wouldn't recommend using the color corrector or the color remover full force. I would recommend diluting it with shampoo the way that I did here. I feel like it's just the right amount for the shampoo to act as a catalyst. If you just use the chemical straight, it would cause your old color pigments still left in your hair that's not as visible to be pronounced. One spoon, two spoon, one spoon, two spoon. Eight spoons for my whole head. One, two, eight. This time I made double portions so it could fit my whole head. It really doesn't smell that bad. People said that color remover smells like rotten eggs and it smells really, really strong and bad. But this version, I don't think it smells as bad. I think it's probably really important to thoroughly lather the hair throughout your section. Yeah. It looks like pastel pink like this. It's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> what if this like really works well? <laughs> if it will work well, I'll cry. And if it doesn't work well, I'll still cry. This feels really good, by the way. It keeps the integrity of my hair, but the product feels really soft and jelly-like. Compared to when I was using the baking soda shampoo, it felt very like stiff and I was scared that my hair would snap. But this actually feels like very conditioning and soft. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side because I know that there's more pigment on this side. So I'll just put the rest of this. The sun is setting. I guess I'll just make a nice cream. There we go. It's looking really good, look. And then here, look, it's like blonde. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's swash this out and then see what happens. I'm actually very cold right now because my hair feels like an icicle. Rinse thoroughly, shampoo twice. Ah, come on! <laughs> okay, then, how does it look? Selfie. Okay, um, I think I might have to call it a night here because it's dark outside. I don't know if this is my pink fading, but you do see hints of blue there. I'm afraid that I might remove too much color that it will actually reverse and bring out the blue that I had in the summer. So I might just leave it like this. It's almost like a rose gold fade from like a purplish pink. I'm gonna throw some Olaplex number two that I have in my travel bottle. I bought the big, big version. You've seen it in my other videos. I swear by it. Um, in case any damage has happened, even though I didn't use bleach, probably leave it on for like 30 minutes and I'll see you when my hair is dry. So I totally forgot to film a clip of how my hair looks after, but this footage is from about two days after I used the color removing product. You can see different shades of color in my hair. At the top, it looks a little bit more purple. There are hints of pastel pink, 
rose gold, almost strawberry blonde, brighter blondes and brighter pinks. I do actually like how the color turned out and I'm probably just going to fade it from here out into my blonde. And I did actually really enjoy filming the experiment because I could see the difference between using just the cleansing shampoo with baking soda compared to the actual color removing product, which I preferred a lot more, but it is quite a lot more unpredictable depending on how your color will change if you didn't use an actual peroxide based permanent hair color. So I do recommend using test strands if you are going to go ahead and try this product. Please let me know what you thought. Have you tried a product like this before? Did it smell like rotten eggs? If you'd like to see content like this and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because that is usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.